The two kilogram non-magnetic CO2 fire extinguisher is a special beastie. It's our one is the firepower range, which is made by Chubb Fire and the Chubb Fire factory in the UK. It's great. It has British Standard Kite Mark, BAFE approval, and the CE Mark, which is denotes the best quality you can get. But the most important thing is that it has a blue handle. Now this is just unique to the uh, the Thomas Glover or, or this particular model, just to show them that it's slightly different. But MRIs are magnetic resonance imaging scanners. This is also for NMRs, which is nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometers. Ha! Easy for you to say, you might say. But what can happen? Uh, let's see, a normal fire extinguisher will have metal levers. A, a normal CO2 fire extinguisher, if you had your standard extinguisher, the whole body is made of mild steel. Now, where you have an MRI scanner, they are incredibly high-powered. And if anyone's ever had one, you'll be told to take all metal, glasses, belts, everything. But if there is a fire and you shut down an MRI scanner, it takes something like 15 minutes to demagnetize. And there are instances, and I am not kidding, you can look it up, where firefighters have gone in uh, for some reason without checking the information, without realizing, and have been sucked in to the MRI, doubled up, as in sucked in by the belt, and then doubled up like that and almost killed because there is nothing, it would be difficult, you'd have to cut away the stuff a lot of damage. So these uh, are, they're not as high volume, so they cost a fair bit more than a standard one. But the reason we stick with this particular model rather than any of the uh, Chinese import ones is because this has to be anti-static, it has to be non-magnetic, and this is for sure. I think the handles are made of aluminium, but there's also what you can't see, there's a siphon tube inside. Sometimes those are made of steel. This one is not. The valve, the parts, everything, even the safety pin. That's stainless steel, that's okay. But you probably want to know what you get in the box. So let me show you. One box. Quickly open it up. You are going to get a swivel horn. I'm going to quickly show you that this is a special uh, anti-static, uh, not anti-static, anti-frost. It's got holes and insulation sides so that when you, if you accidentally hold it, because of the insulation, your hand will not get the freeze burns of CO2. CO2 is a bit nippy. You get one fire extinguisher. It's in a plastic bag just to protect the paint from rubbing off inside the cardboard. Take that out of the bag. You are going to get a bracket. And this is simple. <coughs> This also will be supplied of a correct non-magnetic non metal. A couple of screws, fix on the wall. The handle's about one meter hip height. Pretty much level with any other fire extinguisher. And on the back of a CO2 extinguisher, you see it's got this little hole on the valve. That, take that out of the way, just hooks in it and that's how it sits. Simple, eh? Because of the wonderful, did I mention the quantity? You get a certificate of conformity, giving you details on the back, all the declaration of conformity, approvals, all that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna get the box out of the way. Now, oh. and the bag. This little fella is for transport safety only. Unscrew it, dispose of, recycle of course. That stops accidents of it going off accidentally and uh, becoming like a rocket in the back of the van. Now, screw this on. I'll make a noise here. This one is a tight little beastie. But you can screw this on by hand and then at the end, adjustable spanner just nip it up with just adjustable spanner. Now this is called a swivel horn. 
officially, it's a diffuser. Its job is to diffuse the pressure down from 55 bar, which is about 750 PSI, down to a manageable thing that won't take your arms off. When it's not being used, it will sit like that. And when you use it, you move it up that position. It should be able to stay and then swivel back safely. Simple as that. If you want to use one of these things, safety pin on the back, pull it out. This anti-tamper seal just breaks. This is to show no one has done it. And as you see, lift that up, hold, squeeze the levers, and just sweep from side to side moving in. CO2 extinguisher is really just designed for electrical fires. And in case of MRI or non-magnetic CO2 fire extinguisher, that's all you need to know. You, if it was for uh, factory use, normal office use, you just buy the standard CO2 carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. If you need to know some more or want to know anything about it whatsoever, you can, of course, give us a call on our free phone number or just follow the links at the end of this page.